Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to look at how we can integrate our Postman API requests with a CI CD tool like Jenkins, right? So if you're working uh, in a DevOps environment and you want to run your API tests along with the continuous integration build, um, right? So you need to uh, know how you can integrate that with a CI CD tool. So Jenkins is the most popular uh, continuous integration tool and it's pretty easy to integrate your postman collections or run your postman collections within Jenkins right so we just need to pass a batch command now if you don't know more about Jenkins uh, you can watch my other videos um, on Jenkins right the link is given above you can also visit our channel and there is a playlist called uh, Jenkins right so Jenkins 2.0 tutorials and there you'll find all the videos related to Jenkins uh, we have I've covered all the different features of Jenkins and um, how you can build different uh, CI CD pipelines in Jenkins right? so that should be helpful for you uh, in order to learn Jenkins uh, you can also subscribe to our channel uh, to get access to all these videos on different automation or CI CD tools like Maven, Jenkins, um, along with Docker, right? We also have some videos on um, the test automation tool called Selenium. So let's uh, get back to um, our Jenkins, right? So this is my Jenkins dashboard. Um, it's running on localhost. That's why you can see the URL as localhost 8080. If you are running it on a server, then um, it will be the server address, right? So uh, these are the two um, jobs which are being displayed on my dashboard. So I have two jobs related to uh, Node.js pipelines. Uh, and we are going to add a new job for us for our postman api scripts right so let's go ahead and click on new item so my jenkins got logged out i'll just log in back so to create a, a new job you can uh, click on that uh, new item right and then here you can select freestyle project right uh, you can select any of the three uh, different types of builds like you can create a maven project pipeline or a freestyle project But I'll keep it simple. Uh, I'll just go with the freestyle project So here I'm going to name it as postman api right and then I'm going to click ok So I'm going to show you two ways of uh, how you can run your Postman API requests uh, within Jenkins. So let me give a description here. So Postman API build. And now there are different configurations which you can do in Jenkins, uh, like the source code management, build triggers, build environment. But for this particular video, and the scope is very limited to um, running the API request, right? So we'll go directly to the build section and here uh, we'll be adding a build step right so the build step will be execute windows batch command now if you are not working on windows then you can select execute shell as well if you're working on linux or mac machine but for me it is the bin batch command right now this is the same command which um, you you enter on the command line um, to run your collections using Neoman, right, in Postman. So the same command we need to enter here. Now what's that command? So let's first see our collections, right, which collections we are going to run. So as I said, uh, there are two ways of um, running your collections, right? You can either export your collections and environment files into uh, as JSON files into a folder and then use that to run your um, collections or you can also create a public URL and directly pass on that URL right so I'm going to show you both the ways uh, the first way is creating a public URL right so for this weather API which has got one request um, this is the collection so there are no environment variables here so I don't need to pass one I just need to um, grab a public URL, right? So once you go on to share a link, it will give you this get public link. And there you can update the link and click on copy to clipboard, right? So that's the link for your collection. 
Now go back to Jenkins. And here you can use the new man command to run your collection. So new man run, and then you need to you need to paste the URL, right? And that is it, right? So that's the batch command to run the collection from new man. And we'll do the same here, right? So go ahead and click on save. And now once you have created the uh, project, right? You can build the project so that uh, the build will start running. So click on build now. And in the build history, uh, pop a build will start, right? So you can go to the console output to view the console logs here. So here is our output, right? So it's the weather API. These are the, this is the request to get weather by city. And uh, this is the API or URI, right? Uh, this is the status 200, okay. And these are the two tests. So status code is 200 and status code name has string. Now, um, you can see some randomly generated um, symbols here, but don't worry about them, right? So the in our command line, Newman generates a tabular format report like this, right? So uh, Jenkins is not able to process this um, report, which is being uh, generated by the postman. So that's why it is showing this random random uh, symbols but uh, we are con more concerned about the result right so result is success you can also um, kind of make a silent run right so put on the silent tag and these logs will not be not be generated on your build right now this is the one way of uh, running your collection which is using the simple url public url of your collection now what's the other way so this time we'll be using the GitHub collection, right? And this has got four requests and every request has got some tests, right? And there's, there are some common tests also on our collection. So these are the common tests which we have written for our collection, right? Now, if you want more information um, regarding how to add tests um, and how to use common test across your collection or um, creating any type of request, post, delete, get, right? So refer back to my um, previous videos um, on the same topics, okay? So uh, we need two things here. Um, I'm going to export my collection as a JSON file and then my environment as a JSON file, right? So all these API requests are using some environment variables and I will need those if I want to run this collection, right? So I'm going to download this GitHub here and save it as a JSON file, right? So this is my JSON file. It says already exists, but still I will go ahead and export it. Similarly, um, I'll export my collection. So click on export and click again export. So again, it will say, so replace it. So this is my collection and the environment. I have saved it in a folder, right? That's all you require to run your collection in Jenkins. You now just need to give the path uh, of those JSON files in your configuration, right? So, Let's go back to our configuration and here we need, instead of the URL, we'll be passing the JSON files, right? So, so this is where my JSON file is. So GitHub slash, uh, let me grab that file name. So this is my file collection file name dot JSON. And then I need to pass the environment here. So that would be postman environment.json. So let's give it. We also need to give the path here. Otherwise, it won't be able to find it, right? So github slash and then dot json, right? So this is the other way of um, running your. Uh, API request, right? So you can just pass the collection along with the environment. 
Now this is pretty similar or almost exactly the same way we run it in command line, right? So go ahead and click save. And again, build now to build this particular build, right? So we can go to the console output and you can see now it is running all the API request and the test associated with them, right? So we had four requests, create repository, get all repositories, get specific repository and delete repository. So all the tests related to those API requests were executed. Um, and you can see all of them are successful, right? We have got 201, 200 and 204 for delete. So, and then the tabular format, uh, which is not read pop properly by Jenkins. And then uh, there is one failure uh, for which we have this assertion error, right? So it was expected because I gave the response time 1000 milliseconds and the actual was 2371. So it kind of um, took more, more time to uh, provide the response for this particular API request, right? So that's fine. Our build was a failure, uh, but you can obviously suppress the failures if you want to pass the build, right? So, or you can go ahead and correct that particular um, test. So in case the response time and this build will pass. So that's how um, you run your collections using the collection URL and the files. Now, if you want to um, generate HTML reports in Jenkins, right? So we already saw how you can generate HTML reports in Newman using the extension, which is provided HTML extra, right? So that you can use it here as well. So let's go back to the configuration and uh, we will pass an extra tag in order to generate that HTML report, right? So Okay, so let's go back to the build section and here first I'm going to use a tag called X. So what this will do, it will um, continue the build even if you have test failures, right? And then I'm going to use a tag called R, which is, and here I'm going to pass HTML extra, right? So that will generate an HTML report. Now, if you want to show that report in Jenkins build, you need to add a post build action, right? So after your build is completed, there is a post build action which you can add. Now in post build action, you can select to publish the HTML reports, right? So click on add and here, I don't have any index page, but I do have HTML directory. So that would be Newman. And report title, you can give anything. Um, I'll keep it HTML report, right? And that's it. So click on save. And now go back and build this job again, right? So let's look at the console output. So in this case, right, uh, when you run this um, reporter tag, it will not generate. Uh, it will not generate any kind of logs, right? Because it is generating an HTML report. So that's the functionality of the extension uh, HTML extra, right? It's a plugin. So as you can see, uh, it archived our HTML reports um, here, and then. Our build is also successful. The blue icon suggests that the build was successful and the red is for failure, right? Now you can go back to your dashboard if you want to view your HTML report, right? So we used a plugin through which we can publish our HTML report and on the build dashboard, right? You will see a link for HTML report. So that's the name of the report you provided. And once you click here, Although the report is not um, that interactive, but um, it's good enough for a reading purpose, right? So it shows how many assertions were there, how many iterations, how many failed tests, right? So the run duration um, and all this information. 
uh, skip test, fail test, then you have the test pass percentage um, and all the API request details here, response body. So everything you will find here, although it's not interactive, but it's quite useful, right? To have a kind of report like this. This is basically the Newman report, which is, we are displaying it here for Jenkins, right? For your build. So that's one way of publishing your HTML report, right? Um, now, I've been showing you um, running this builds on this, this Jenkins UI. There's also another interactive UI called Blue Ocean, right? So you can click on Open Blue Ocean. Although this is built for specifically for running the pipelines, it gives it gives you a very good view of your builds and um, the details around your builds, right? So as I said, it's built for pipelines specifically, but you can also run your build and view it here, right? So once you start running this build, you can also view the logs here. It looks pretty similar to console logs. And all the other details are also present here, right? Who is running the build? What are the changes? What time it took? Uh, what were the, uh, what were the logs? So everything is given here, right? So changes, uh, tests, artifacts, right? So everything is provided here uh, in a nice interactive UI. So this is called um, the Blue Ocean plugin for Jenkins, right? Um, which Jenkins is being de developing from some time, and it provides a nice UI, interactive UI. So this is a brief um, overview of um, how you can run your Jenkins build, which includes your Postman API tests, right? So as part of your continuous integration process, you can easily integrate this with any, um, any of your project builds where uh, the developers are making the changes and then your tests are getting triggered. You are providing the reports of whether they have passed or failed, right? And the next steps could be, you can deploy your build into a different environment, like a staging environment from dev, or if um, it has got lots of failures, then you can give it back to the developers to fix it. So then it becomes a continuous cycle, right? So that is how you build your CI CD pipeline. And API request, as you can see, um, or the API tests are pretty fast, right? It took hardly a few seconds to run my API tests. So that's the advantage advantage of having API test in your CI CD build. Uh, it won't take long to run your tests and your pipeline could be much faster and efficient if you are running your API test uh, in a CI CD pipeline, right? So that's it for this video. If you found this interesting, then please like and subscribe um, along. If you have any comments or feedback, please provide it in the comment section and I will get back to you um, on any questions you have regarding um, any, any topic related to Postman or Jenkins. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.